All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Racha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Um, this is uh, Brother Aina from GMS Dallas. Patakamak, GMS Dallas. And uh, me, me and the brother, um, you know, we, uh, we wanted to get into this video um, concerning uh, the pers uh, just a different perspective, you know, uh, of what it means to be called uh, out of this world uh, unto, unto salvation, you know, because that's what we strive for in doing the work. We strive for salvation, salvation from this wicked society. All right. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This is, this is 2 Samuel chapter 22, starting at the top of verse 1. And David spake unto Yahweh the words of this song in the day that Yahweh had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies, out of the hand of Saul. And he said, Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. The Lord, like you, the power of my of my rock, in him will I trust. Right. So Yahweh Bashim Shai is the power that we trust in. And uh, that links up with that in the song. Because um, the scriptures say he is my fortress. Now, what do you use a fortress for? You use a fortress to hide, basically, right? You use a fortress... Uh, for protection from outside um, uh, perils and dangers. Okay. Con, this is a, a precept. This is Psalm nine, uh, Psalms ninety-one and verse one. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right. So he that abideth in the secret places of the Most High, in the in the fortress and in the tower of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the almighty now that's protection that's a hedge okay a hedge from what go ahead i will say of yahweh bashem yahweh shai he is my refuge and my fortress my power in him will i trust go ahead. surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence right so the snare of the fowler and the noisome pestilence that's going into the, the the destruction, the inevitable war that's about to come upon the planet Earth. Okay, war is not just going to stay over there in the Middle East. It's going to intensify and spread like a pestilence, like a disease. That's right. You see? Is there any more on that, bro? That's a point. Okay, come. Let's go back to that in Second Samuel. Come. This is Second Samuel, uh, twenty-two and verse three. <clears throat> Salaki. The power of my rock in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. Right. He is my shield. And um Baba Kushad, when you get when we get to that word, I want you to get um, you know, the definition of it. Okay. But um shield? No, uh um uh, refuge. Uh uh drawn. Draw, okay. But um yeah, he is my shield and basically what do you use a shield for? Protection. Right? Okay. And he said, "The horn of my salvation." Is that what that's what said? Horn of my salvation. So, the the a horn is a, a resembling of a of of power. Okay, when a bull has horns on it, it shows that it has power. Okay, to pierce and to do damage. Okay, and if 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 there's any edification on that word horn in the Hebrew, of course, brother, you can bring it out. Um, if not, we can keep reading. This is uh, H7161. You can, how do you pronounce that? Was uh, Quran? Quran? Quran. Quran. And it's horn, uh, uh, A horn of strength, mm -hmm. uh, C flask to container for oil, mm -hmm. D horn as mu musical instrument, uh, C, uh, E horn of like horn 
projection on the altar. Uh, F of rays of light, G Hill. Hold on, rays of light. Go back, read that verse again. Rays of light, kind. This is second. This is a second Samuel twenty-two in verse three. The power of the power of my rock in him will I trust. Mm -hmm. He is my shield mm -hmm. and the horn of my salvation. Right. So the rays of light. Of my salvation He is the power of my salvation The strength Oh wait There's a scripture That goes into The strength of salvation Um let's see if I can find it Real quick The strength of salvation Yahweh Bashim Shai Is our strength of salvation Strength Strength of salvation Alright Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Okay? Who, who gives us that wisdom and knowledge? The Lord, man. Where does that come from? The Spirit of the Lord. Okay? It says the fear of, of the Lord is his treasure. And that's what King David did. He feared the Lord. Okay? And so that's how he, be, how, how, uh, he became abundantly rich. In the spirit, okay, because he feared Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and kept his commandments. All right, let's go back to that. This is a uh, Second Samuel's twenty-two, and again starting at verse three, the power, the power of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. Right. My high tower and my refuge. Right. My savior, thou, thou savest me from violence. Right, so violence is uh, uh, what King David was it was uh, was running was basically uh, escaping from when Saul was persecuting him. Read verse one again, Bible Kusha. Huh? This is Second Samuel twenty-two and, and, and verse one. And David spake unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai the words of this song in the day that Yahweh had delivered him, delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. Right. And that's what we hope to be delivered out of the hand of, of all of our enemies. Now, you're going to have to begin to get some of them uh, precepts that we wrote down about the multitudes because it's about to go into that. But um, the hand, the hand of, 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 uh, of the enemies of the Most High are our enemies, and they seek to destroy us. Now, get, get that and continue on, but I just let you know it's going to come yeah. up. Uh, come. This is 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 4. I will call on Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. Right. So those men who call on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai um, to, to deliver them out of this out of this hell hole that he put us in are going to be uh, if they if they've been chosen and predestined for salvation, they're going to be saved up out of it. Okay, because the scripture does say not, not everyone that calls uh, me Lord Lord. Shall be uh, roughly paraphrased and shall be saved in that day, you know. And so, we have to be uh, honest with ourselves and with the Lord, you know, constantly uh, praying and and, and 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 believing, man, that He's able to deliver us, you know. Verse five: When the waves of death compassed me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. Right. So. The scripture compares floods to a multitude of men. You see? It says the waves of death. Go If you go into Hebrew, um, that word waves, if you could get it, it goes into basically like a congregation or an assembly. Okay? Because the men who assemble themselves together to lay snares... For the righteous are gonna get destroyed. Okay. For example, you had men that said we're not gonna eat or drink until we kill Paul when Paul was doing the work of the Lord. So you know that there are going to be men who desire to disrupt the work of the Lord for filthy lucre's sake. 
okay, or for a gain of a, a, a physical pleasures. Did you want that? Did you want that? Uh, that word? Waves? Yeah, yeah. Get that word. Waves or floods, or whatever. This is waves. Uh, this is H forty eight sixty seven, Masharbar, and it's breaker, breaking of sea. And in the Strong's definition uh, from H seventy six sixty five, a breaker of the sea, billow, wave. Right, and what does a wave do? It roars. Multitudes of the people, they they you know they they uh they cause a loud a loud noise. Okay. When 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 your house side was being persecuted, get that other word. Oh, uh, when Yahweh was being persecuted by the by by the by the uh, by the people, man, they they, were, they all screamed and shouted in one accord. That was like a wave and a roaring sea, okay, an overflow of 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 unrighteous men persecuting Yahweh, okay. And what is that? Can you read that scripture again? Because uh, 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 David prayed for salvation during that time when we get when we get persecuted. Go ahead, read it. This is uh, again in reading uh, 2 Samuel 22 and verse 5. When the waves of death compassed me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. Right. So when 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 the waves of death compassed uh compassed David, man, when he was in dire straits, the floods of ungodly men caused him to be fearful. You know, he wasn't always certain of his life. Get that word, Bible Kusha. Yeah, this is uh the, the the word floods. It's uh Strong's H fifty one fifty eight Nakala, and it's torrent, valley, wadi. Uh, torrent valley, as as stream bed, shaft of mine palm tree, meaning dubious. Right, a dubious congregation. Is there anything in the origin? Right, they're uh, they're yeah, they're it's... they're vicious, man. <laughs> you know when you get sucked up uh, in that undertow on the on the beach, it can be very uh, 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 scary, man. You know, you get overpowered easily by a simple wave. This is uh, uh the origin is uh, Strong's H fifty one fifty seven, no call, and it's to get as a possession, mm. acquire, inherit, <laughs> possesses. Or possess to take. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't really. Is there anything? Okay. Well, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, that's enough on that. Let's go back to the scripture. Um. Because it basically makes the comparison in the scripture that talks about full of floods of ungodly men. So we know that, you no, know, uh, they can be likened unto water. Go ahead. Con. This is verse six. Did you want? Uh, you know what? Let me get this precept. Yeah, we I mean, bring it the, out, bro. Please. You know, we're dealing with the uh, the floods. Let me bring out a precept real quick. This is Psalms 93 and verse 3. And it reads, The floods have lifted up, Yahweh. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. Now, now, does water and, 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 and the sea have a voice? Or is this talking about a multitude of people? That's what this is talking about. Go ahead, read more, please. Khan, this is verse 4. Yahweh on high is mightier than the noise of many waters. Right. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is mightier than a, a large army. Okay. He's mightier than a, a, a great uh, a congregation of people. Even though the, 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 the people can be loud and boisterous. Well, he's mightier than that. Okay. So he gets to choose who can be saved out of that out of that uh, 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 congregation. Because really people, man, you know, they don't really realize... If you look at if you look at yourself on this earth, you realize how small you are, but you can't because you're you know you all you're in it. But a spiritual man is able to put that into into proper perspective. That he's very small on the earth, just like a just like a, a, a you know a, a, a drop of water in a great sea. Con, uh, reading verse four again. Yahweh on high is mightier than the noise of many waters. Yeah, than the mighty waves of the sea. I want to bring out one more. This is Psalms 43 and verse, uh, 